Hello everybody, this is Seethercord here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine for the Nintendo GameCube. Uh, last time we uh, finished off all the extra shines in Delfino Plaza, and now we are starting off with the 100 coin missions! And this is a post-commentary video. The reason why is because this would have been very, um, you know, boring if I would have just like commented over me trying to get 100 coins. That would have been... So, so, so boring, but today we're doing the first five of the Seven Main Worlds 100 coin missions, and we're starting off with Bianco Hills in episode eight to get 100 coins. I'm already, at the time of making this video, I am literally, and I mean literally just, you know, I'm, I've done all the, I'm recording all of the 100 coins and the, uh, like a third of the blue coins already, and it's just, this is so much time, a few hours of just, playing the game and now I gotta do all the editing too this is the most editing I've done so far for the series but yeah so essentially you want to go to episode 8 for this first episode of Bianco Hills to go and get yourself to the 100 coins uh, as you can see we get a couple already as it is and you want to make sure you have Yoshi unlocked so that way you can get at least a good 20 coins from these bees right here uh, as well want to avoid that blue coin which we're going to do first and then eventually we'll get to the um the rest of the blue coins uh, get to the blue coins after we finish all the 100 coins. Uh, defeat these little, like, uh, you know, pokey enemies that are here. But you want to spray them by the wall. They'll give you three instead of hitting them on top of the head, which is just one. So we'll do that just to make sure. Get those three. Awesome. Also adding in some cool music in the background. You know, to make it a little more interesting. Some other game music as well. I don't know. I'm just so ready to just get done with this game. I'm really just nearing the end of it with my patience. But we will get there soon. We shall, we will, we shall. Uh, we got these other little like spinning flowers right here, but we'll take care of these to get three coins. Get another three, and then another three. 67 until we're two thirds of the way there with these 100 coins. Okay, get another five right there by spinning them. Yep. Uh, and then we get another, oh, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna run out of juice with Yoshi. Don't want that to happen. Uh, okay, barely made that though. But uh, unfortunately we don't finish this uh, shine with Yoshi because a little mistake I made, which we'll see in a bit. Uh, get these three right here, get another three, bring that up to 78, <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, the 100 coins uh, and the blue coins are known for being the part of the game where they're just like, kind of throws off the whole vibe because it gets really grindy and it takes a, throws off the pace, I should say, but really just, it, just to pad out, just, it's there to pad out the game time for uh, Mario Sunshine in this game, but this is definitely the easiest of all the 100 coin missions outside the Delfino Plaza one. Uh, but yeah, out of the main regular levels that just kind of like, uh, you know, this is the easiest one of them all. They're going to get harder, especially with the blue coins as well. This is the easiest for like both blue coins and the 100 coins shine. But there we go. Up next, we're going to take on the Rico Harbor 100 coin shine. And we're going to go to episode three for this one, ladies and gentlemen. So essentially, uh, you can get yourself the first couple coins right here. I get three right there from that. There's different methods and episodes where you can get it done, but I'm doing it on the ones I know for sure you can get it done. Definitely episode three. I think other episodes are doable. Not every episode, but I think most in most worlds uh, can allow you to uh, get the 100 coin shine. Um, all right, so we're going to hit this right here, and we will go to here to get ourselves the next couple coins. Uh, I do make some cuts in this post commentary in this uh, recorded gameplay footage where it goes a little too long without getting any real coins or progress. So I cut out a good half a minute to one minute uh, of footage. So yeah, there's that. That just has a one up right there, unfortunately. Uh, but they do get uh, gradually a little longer to complete. Uh, you can get a couple coins right here from this bar, and I missed one, so I'm gonna wait just a little bit to get this last one right here. Um, I'd say uh, the shortest amount of time it usually takes to complete these 100 coin missions is usually like uh, 10, uh, no, about 15 minutes at minimum and like 35 at maximum. Some of these levels are just annoying to get the 100 coins in. And blue coins are going to be definitely something else we're going to have to consider. But we'll get to that once we will in probably like next episode. <sighs> yeah, and just so much time just to make this one episode, just this one 20 minute episode it just goes in just so many hours. <laughs> I'd say about three hours in total just to produce this one 20-minute uh, episode. So that's definitely fun, you know. It's fun for the most part. It just can be a little time-consuming, you know. All right, up to 45. Yeah. Cool. All right. Oh, I made a little mistake right there with the buttons with climbing up this uh, cage 
wall. Anyway, uh, get that, uh, get that coin, another coin right here. I accidentally grab a blue coin, but don't worry. Uh, I will, when we get to the blue coins, I will just replay that footage uh, just to show when I do show off getting all 240 blue coins and the 30 for Rico Harbor. Uh, I did get one very early in the game when we were recording in uh, real time. Uh, so we're in total, we have about, after recording all the 100 coin shines, we finish with about four, yeah, four blue coins by accident. So uh, it'll be like re-recording four of those blue coins of the 240. Uh, get ourselves to about 54 coins. Now we can get a bunch more down here in the sewer uh, when you go down the sewer pipeline. So you want to make sure you go through there to get some. Yep. Okay, there's about 79 now. Anyway. Uh, we got an 88. Oh, wow. Uh, then I believe we can get a few more right over here. Uh, it's so weird recording... Uh, with gameplay and then doing like recording the gameplay footage then putting post commentary over that it makes it a little bit harder to like say interesting things and I'm sorry if that's the case you need the rocket nozzle to get some of those uh, coins are just straight out there in the water but I don't think we grab those in the end yeah we don't really grab those in the end there's a few more hidden right over here brings our coin total now to about 95 so we just need to get these last few it's usually when you try to get the last like five or so coins in these later 100 coin missions that really take up the time and also you need the rocket nozzle here i was only able to grab one of these unfortunately so we're gonna make sure we can try to grab those but we can't unfortunately no all right then we're gonna go over here try to find these last three coins that we can grab hopefully uh hmm yeah we can get some from these bloopers right here there's one and then we just need two more just two more. See what I'm saying? You know, just find the last few coins is what really makes it hard. Really, really makes it hard. And there we go. And that brings us to 100 coins for Rico Harbor. And now we're just going to finish with 102, actually. That'd be fun. Yeah. So we're going to go over here. Get hit by that. Don't want that. And now we get ourselves this 90th shining game. We're three-fourths of the way done with the game, guys. Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. Next, we're going to Gelato Beach, and we're going to go to Episode 8, the Watermelon Festival. The last of the regular, or last episode for the World Shine mission, I guess you could call it, to get the 100 coins. Uh, we're going to go to this little swing right here, and don't want to grab that blue coin just yet, and get our first five right here. And this little, like, uh, island thing with the trees and everything that can bring us to our first, like, 15 or so coins. And I just missed those right there. We're going to climb back up here at this tree to get to them. Uh... I actually made a mistake. No, the easiest of these 100 coin missions, besides, uh, 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 what was it Delfino Plaza? Uh, I also accidentally grab uh, another blue coin here. Uh, again, I'll, I will, as I will reiterate, uh, we will re grab those later on. But I was saying, um, oh, no, <laughs> no, the other, the Peanut Park is going to be the easiest one coming up. Uh, I, I made a mistake with that, but we'll see soon the easiest one right after this one. This is one of the harder ones, time consuming, but. Um, you can break these, each of these little mini watermelons, you can like break them and get 10 coins from each of them. And as you can see, each of these uh, red cataquacks also produce one coin each, so that helps with your coin counter. So it's not hard to find the coins, it's just they're all spread out and you have to travel so far just to get all of them. So it's more time consuming. Meanwhile, you have levels like Serena Beach and Rico Harbor where they're just more difficult to find them, or especially Serena Beach, as I should say. Yeah, Serena Beach is a uh, annoying level that we have seen so far from this Let's Play. All right, grab that one. 32, 33, 34. Yeah, so just I'm grabbing more coins uh, from these red cataquacks right here. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, we bring ourselves to about 40 uh, coins after this, or 41 or so. And there's another uh, watermelon right here. Let me uh, just get this last one. And then... Yeah, also we can grab, get up here, we can spray water on this little area to get a tree to grow up, and then then get another five coins right there. Yeah, here's a few more right underneath these uh, platforms. Really racking up these coins. Again, very easy coins to find. They're not really not there. They're just like spread out and they take forever to grab is the thing. Yeah, this is currently uh, sped up at times three speed, the footage because it would take way longer. I think in total it's like two hours just to get a uh, footage it took to get all the 100 coins. And then the blue coins, oh boy, the blue coins is even more, even more time. Oh boy. Okay, 
So, oh, there's the turbo nozzle, but we do not want the turbo nozzle right now. We do not. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay, those two don't want to grab that blue coin by accident. All right, then we're going to go over here, and we're going to want to go underneath this little dock area, and we're going to grab all but one of these coins, because one of these is a blue coin, and I'm trying to see. I don't end up grabbing it. I almost did, but I didn't, because I don't want to accidentally grab another coin, blue coin. Uh, so yeah, we got ourselves to 69 total coins, just 31 more. Go to those other uh, mini watermelons. We've skipped one over there to go grab it and get ourselves to another 10 coins from this. That would be nice. Very, very nice, yes. All right. It's taking a long time. It just takes so long. <laughs> it's so slow. Again, it's not hard to find them. Serena Beach is the one that's like the hardest of all of them just to find the coins. This one, again, they're just slow. This one's slow. Serena Beach is just brutal. Oh boy. Second hardest one of all of them. Anyway. A lot of people also say the watermelon festival level is really hard. I don't really see it to be wow challenging. It can be a little annoying, but it depends on times of day, I guess. Uh, 83. Right, get those four down there from that secret shine area. And get this last big watermelon over here to get another 10 coins, which will bring us from 83 coins to 93. Uh, gonna go get that. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. You can like dive into the, the, the watermelon to make it pop, but you can also just ground pound to grab the coins. I just do that because I feel like it's safer in terms of getting these coins, I'd say. Yep. All right. Uh, brings us to 90. Come on, take your time, Mario. Just take your time. Take your time. And then the last one right here. There we go. 93. So, next thing's next. Uh, we're going to go up on these uh, wires, on these telephone poles. You can call them. I don't know. Had trouble getting up there. And, oh boy. Am I just going to take the long way? I guess I end up doing that in the end. Oh boy. We're just going to walk our way there instead of trying to backflip our way. And I fail again. Beautiful. Oh boy. Just get these last few coins. Oh. Yeah, just again. Travel a far distance for these last few coins. And I grab another blue coin by accident. I think that's the last one I grabbed by accident there. 97, just three more. And there are three more coins there, but I miss them. So I end up having to instead just go back to the top where the uh, big watermelon is. And I just spray these green birds because there's two blue birds and three green birds. The two blue birds give you blue coins each, a blue coin each. And these green birds, there's more than three, I'm sorry, more than three green birds. But these green birds just give you one regular coin. So I was just like, you know what, I'll just do that. It'll take a little bit, but it's just end this nightmare. <laughs> the end of this game, Mario Sunshine, when you do the 100 coins and the 240 blue coins last it just oh it's so long anyway there we go 91 29 left next we're going to peanut park which is the easiest one of all of them you want to go to episode two and the P the beach cannon secret you want to go over here and instead of like defeating this mole guy with the cannon you're going to want to just keep spraying his bullet bills because what he does is he keeps spraying coins out, and that's a lot of coins. You can just easily grab them in like five minutes. It's the easiest one of all of them. I don't know why I for completely forgot about how easy this one was and thought, oh, Jalala Beach is, or the Bianco Hills is the easiest one, but no, it's this is the easiest one. Easily the easiest one. We're already at 28 and everything. It's going by super fast. Yeah, it's just all just right here. Uh, these... Purple and black bullet bills give you like a few each, but the gold ones give you a bunch. So you want to make sure you definitely spray them. You don't want to get too close because you'll start throwing these little like walking, ticking bomb uh, looking, bomb -bom looking enemies. But instead you want the bullet bills. So you want to get just far away to where they, they uh, track on you. And then right before they hit you, you want to spray them. And that makes them blow up. Yeah, we're already at, you know, oh, 72. That's nice. And there are golden, there were like two golden ones just there, but 76 now. Uh, okay, we're gonna bring that up now to about 82. Yeah, just very easy. I think it's the the one shining light of this this marathon of nightmares, which is the hundred coins and the blue coins. Oh boy. There we go. So we get ourselves to 101. You can get it. I think you can. I've never done. It. I should try it one of these days. Try to get to 999 coins, but I haven't. But anyway, 92 shines, 28 left. Now we're gonna be doing. Uh, Serena Beach, the worst one of all of them, episode three, Mysterious Hotel Delfino. There is about, I think, 14 of these coins you can get outside, but I'm not going to do that. I think I made a mistake, actually, and I barely was able to get to 100. 
just barely. I think if I would have missed one or two, then I would have not been able to do it. But you can get about 14 outside from what I know of. I only get about nine or eight of them here. So yeah, I just know that is the case. Uh, seven. Oh, you don't want to get that blue coin. Uh, yeah, there's about eight and I got here. I don't think I get any more. And then I just decide, you know, what? I'm just going to go inside after that. I get one here. Yeah, I get one. So yeah, I finish with nine before I go inside. Because once you go inside, it's over and you got to restart if you don't go in with enough. You know, this. the reason the Serena Beach is the hardest one for the 100 coins is just because of the fact that it's... Um, oh, I go with 10, okay. It, it's because these coins can disappear and there's very they're very limited. Now, you can go in the casino, but we're not doing the casino in this one because that one's a little bit... I've never really did it with the casino from my knowledge, so I just avoided that. But you can spray these torches right here to get you some more coins. Uh, yeah, so we go here and let's get in this little water area. It's weird how they have like a, just an indoor water area for like the hotel check-in. That seems just kind of like causes like a lot of sanitary issues, I feel. Having to clean it out at all times. Anyway, who knows? 34. All right, we're at 34 total. So far, a third of the way there. But it's not over yet. No, I make a lot of cuts in this. A lot of uh, jump cuts because there is definitely uh, some some uh, time wasted where you don't really get anything done. You see, I just paused the game to look and everything. Just trying to figure out where I could find some more coins. Anyway, then you want to go up here into the ceiling because there's definitely a lot of coins you can get with Yoshi and also just standing up there. Yoshi can eat the ghosts and that can get you some coins there too. So we're going to want to get Yoshi soon, which we will. Uh, but also just going through the regular, um, doing the regular works here with the... Um, Going through the regular way to do this level, get some coinage. Uh, these stupid doors. Serena Beach is such a frustrating level. It's still fun, but it's definitely just a hassle, and it takes forever just to get through it. It's just it feel it's fun in the beginning, but by near the by the end of Serena Beach, it's just a chore. It really is. 61, 62, yeah, 63, 64. Okay, so now you take this pineapple, bring it to Yoshi, and then. Now it's time to get into the ones we can get with Yoshi. So, yeah. All right. We're going to go and take him up here to uh, the air vents and ceiling. And we're going to get ourselves some more. Uh, now we can eat these boos, which can, uh, you know, stop blocking our pathway and get to the other coins. Uh, get an 80. Four fifths of the way there. All right. 81. Get these other coins. 84, 85, uh, get another about, I think we can get to 93 right here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so then uh, I had to make a jump here because couldn't find anything, but then we get ourselves a few more over here in this little hotel room area. We get another one right there. Eat this one boot, get 95, 98. Then this is where I get really stumped. And then I was like, I had to look it up and you can spray these little front boards to the hotel room doors and gives you just barely enough and I barely was able I almost gave up but I got to 100 got 93 uh, down 27 left guys so that's the end of this episode next time guys we are going to do the 100 coin mission for the last two levels which are Noki Bay and Pianta Village and then we're going to start on the 100 coins uh, and I think it would be a uh, Bianca Hills I'm so sorry guys but anyways thank you so much for watching this post commentary episode we still got Quite a bit of a beast left to go. We're almost done with 100 coins, and we'll get this getting on the beast of the, the blue coins. Uh, just finishing up the rest of the sides of the game before ending the game. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. I've been Seath Record of Seath Record Games, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.